good morning good afternoon good evening what's going on how you doing uh kind of here in downtown cleveland um it's kind of not a day when i was like making videos or vlogging or anything like that i'm just here in like the center of the heart of my city which is by this building which kind of I tell you guys, it looks like Warsaw. Uh, it kind of reminds me of you guys from Czech, you know, everyone from Poland. Doesn't that kind of look like? Doesn't that? I mean, it's crazy. That's what I think of every single time. Uh, and I'm kind of just here in the downtown of my city. Um, kind of just no real plan to get some work done, but I feel like let me do go to the heart of my city. Wasn't going to film, but I kind of want to show you guys around. You're asking about Cleveland. Well, this is kind of uh, this is kind of downtown Cleveland. interesting is a lot of people were telling me like Luke you're in Cleveland you're gonna miss the warm weather of Barcelona you're gonna miss the warm weather of Europe in certain places in Europe but honestly like honestly it is like I don't know what's going on with the weather here but it is normally there's snow everywhere Christmas time freezing cold here in Cleveland snow on the grass it looks just like you see in the movies normally but I think because of I have no idea what but but right now it's like really weird because it's not cold no snow it, it's a weird feeling being back here normally i'm always freezing freezing cold when i come back to cleveland and this time it's just like i'm actually almost sweating in my in my shirt but on that note i kind of always like to have some kind of objective or something that i have like oh i'm here to do this but honestly here in kind of i like to say downtown but in europe translations like the center um but our centers here in america aren't as much and as convenient as they are in in europe but here at least in my city driving here is uh, it's a hassle it's difficult to park uh although there's parking everywhere it's just more difficult so it's not as i don't want to say as, as accessible but not the same as in it's not as easy to get to as it is in other places but downtown in the center this is it here in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And okay, I kind of must say, I kind of must say it is very different here. You know, I must say it is very different here than when I grew up here. So if you guys don't know, like, I've been gone from Cleveland for about 17 years, close to 17 years I've been gone, 15 years. Because the last time I like lived here uh, like with my family and I was downtown all the time. Uh, and back then it wasn't as safe. You know, now I feel like all this is like so much open. So honestly, before I wouldn't recommend so much. Yeah, go downtown, walk around and enjoy. But I must say, after like walking around right now, and seeing this it's almost like it's very welcoming here in cleveland like i must say and and just so you know this was like my favorite place to come to when i was growing up as a kid i was right here all the time i had a great view of this building right here as you guys can see i actually really love this building one of the reasons why i fell in love with warsaw when i first went there and it wasn't so clean like this before but i must say what they've done with the city now to make it more more welcoming it's it's very it's very it's very impressive for here in cleveland um and i guess maybe we'll go maybe we'll go this way i'll show you guys a little bit a little small little tour of like my city i don't spend a lot of time here in the downtown area um but when i am here uh I You know, and I don't know, you know, I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but do you guys ever, like, you've lived, maybe you've lived in a place, or you, you spend a lot of time in a place, or you're raised in a place, and you go away, and then when you come back there, you see how it's new, it's advanced, it's advanced, it looks nice, and then you have that thought when you're like, why wasn't it like this when I was there? You know, I have so many thoughts like this from so many places that I'm seeing, and it's kind of like a common theme, and it makes me kind of wonder sometimes, was it always that cool or was I just not seeing it because I was there? 
you, 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 you know what I mean? You know, and I guess this makes me kind of think of the next question that I'm asked all the time. They're like, Luke, do you miss home? Have you missed being away? It's a hard while traveling and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I guess one key that I've realized if I had to give you guys some value in this, sorry for the wind, if I had to give you guys some value in this, in this short vlog that I wasn't gonna make today, is that one key that I always do, one secret, one thing that I'm really working on the last at least eight or 10 months have been really being where I am. So when I'm traveling, I'm traveling. When I'm, when I'm vlogging, I'm vlogging. When I'm speaking to you guys on live, I'm there live. And when I'm home, I'm home. As hard as it can be, because as, for example, now I've been here for almost 10 days and I start to get restless and I'm ready to get on the move and ready to do all this kind of stuff. I've really enjoyed being here. So when you ask that I miss it, it's like, yes, but while I was traveling, I was there in the moment. So it's like being here, do I miss traveling? I do, but I'm here in Cleveland right now, I'm at home. So it's like, of course I miss it, but I'm so much focused on trying to be wherever I am at that present time. It makes it just a little bit easier to deal with being away from certain things. Uh, yeah, hope that, hope that makes sense. Now heading up this way, you have a great view of the Yeah, you know, and I guess kind of being here and being away from Cleveland, um, it's not so much that as I'm here now, I'm, of course I'm missing being here, but I'm really realizing that as I'm here, it's like, I'm almost not here now. It's like, as I go down these new paths, I see these new places, but my mind still sees the old places as I was growing up here and as I was going to all these different places as a young kid and the perspectives that I had as if man Cleveland's a huge city I gotta be the biggest here and I guess having traveled and see more as you probably has happened to you many times you just come back and you realize you were you're like has my city changed has these changed or have I it's just like up here that's kind of changed so much oh yes and by the way people are asking me about here in Cleveland if we do have a lake that would be where the Browns play. That's our football, American football team. This would be the Science Center. That would be the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And that is the, all that behind there. That's the lake. That's the lake with, uh, with Canada on the, on the other side there. And so I guess, So I guess being here, being here in Cleveland, it begs to ask the question, at least for me, did I miss Cleveland? Did I miss being here? Did I miss growing up here? And I would almost have to say, no. You know, I, I, I miss, I don't miss it here. I miss what being here represents, especially to me in my history of growing up here and not necessarily being raised on these streets, but all the things that I encountered as a kid to get me to the point that I am now. It necessarily, it isn't necessarily the city, but what the city represents, the struggle, the grind, the have to figure it all out for myself, the, the, the people that I've met here, the friends that I grew up with, the, the little courts where I used to go to play basketball, where I used to take my bike for an hour and ride downtown uh, when I couldn't, and I was riding on two tires that were very flat, but I tried to make it here on my bike just to get away. Uh, the little lessons that I learned, those are the things that I miss. And I think that when it comes to many things, it's kind of what it represents sometimes that is more important than what it is. You know, me sitting down, making this video for you right now, making the video isn't the thing that's just like, oh, I love doing it. But what the video represents 
for me is the most powerful thing. Making the video for you, being able to engage with you, speaking with you, having you guys speak back, having you speak back with me, it's what all that, that is what the video represents. So it's never necessarily about the video, just like it necessarily wasn't about the city, but what the city represent, the people, the lessons that I learned, the growing up, my family being here, which is a totally thing way above all that. But I think it's, I've missed what this city represents. And, and I guess kind of understanding that no matter what we've kind of been through, no matter how hard things have been for us, that we were able to learn lessons there. And I guess being here in Cleveland, as I walk around and seeing so many places that I grew up with and things that I used to know around here that have changed completely, it was all needed for me to get to where I am, to be able to share it with you, uh, and at the same time, be strong for myself. So I guess on that note, on a day when I wasn't gonna make a video, I hope you got something out of this here in Cleveland, beautiful Cleveland, my city. Uh, I feel so great to be back here. I feel happy. I feel like it's, it's, it's been a long time, you know, and I've never, I can't remember the last time I've had this much time uh, where it's been about 10 days I've had in Cleveland. Uh, it's been, I would say at least, it's been at least three years since I've spent a consecutive 10 days in my city. Uh, so it just feels great. It feels great to share it with you. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, whether you've been here forever or whether you have just got here yesterday or this is your first video, thank you guys so much. Uh, I need to start speaking Speaking more because so many new people are coming around here. I'm so happy to have you here. My name is Luke. I'm so thankful for you to be here. Hope you had great holidays. And on that note, I'll speak to you guys all later. And everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.